Houston, if Wednesday's blazing victory elicited encouragement in Minnesota United's, the thud emanating from Houston on Saturday night was that momentum crashing to earth. Days after Darwin Contero and the untied attack tantalized fans with an offensive display, a road game reminded of the club's bug a booze set-piece misery and a listless attack led to a 3-0 loss to the Houston Dynamo. There's nothing in the game and then the first two goals were set pieces again, coach Adrian Heath told reporters at BBVA Compass Stadium. It's not like these were clever goals where you have to hold your hand up as a coach and go, that's a really good play and it's a good finish. It's just a cross in the box and it's cost us again twice this evening. I'm disappointed with the level of commitment considering where we were on Wednesday. Philippe Senderos rekindled the loon's woes by scoring twice on corner kicks. He struck first in the 36th minute, roofing a knockdown from Albert Ellis, and then again in the 52nd, capitalizing on a Michael Boxall mistake to head home in his second. It's Boxy's man tonight. Do we look at it? Do we assess and change the way we mark? Heath asked. Do we go zonal? Do we do something? We've got to do something because we're killing ourselves virtually every week. By the time Ellis scored Houston's third goal in stoppage time, the Loons were resigned to losing the eighth of nine games away from home. Heath praised the club's shape for most of the night, and until the final 10 minutes, Minnesota 6-1-1, one forced Houston 7-6, four to shots from distance or out wide. That good work was undone when the ball stopped moving. After Senderos' first goal, United made claims of a foul on Ellis for pushing box all before heading the ball down to set up the goal. No whistle came, and the loons were left wondering about their dead ball defence. We can go over set pieces a hundred times and the manager can tell us our responsibilities over and over again, and when it comes to put it in we don't do it, goalkeeper Bobby Shuttleworth said. I think all of us need to take a look and take a little bit more responsibility, myself included. On the other end, United's stagnant attack produced only five shots, and the team had a matching number of yellow cards. Quintero failed to live up to his midweek antics and the Loon's sleepy attack was relegated to two good chances early from Christian Ramirez. That's not good enough if the club wants to improve in the second half of the... I think we had a good win on Wednesday and kind of spoke about how we want the second half of the to be a turn around, Shuttleworth said. I don't think there's one guy in that locker room that will tell you this is acceptable. More from sports Brock Lesnar is coming back to the UFC next year, and new heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier wants to fight him. A look at what's is happening around the majors today. Chicago's Asahon Lester has put together some ace worthies during his 13-year major league career, including four. Five home runs, 18 hits, 20 runs. Samuel Armenteros scored two goals and the Portland Timbers extended their MLS unbeaten streak to 11 matches with a 2-1 victory over the San Jose Earthquakes on Saturday night. Daniel Cormier knocked out the UFC heavyweight champion, argued with a professional wrestler and left the octagon dancing with glee and perfect balance. Thanks to one championship belt on each arm.